Hi everyone, it's Hayden Crawford here from numerologist.com and as you know, I'm a wellness coach specializing in color therapy. Now today I continue my exploration into the different flavors of star seeds and I'm going to be highlighting the nine very interesting traits of the Orion star seeds so you can work out whether you're one of them. Okay, so since the beginning of time, Orion has always been considered to be one of the most significant and important constellations within our heavens. Its name dates right back to ancient Greek mythology, but it's also associated with an Egyptian pharaoh from the fifth dynasty by the name of Eunice. So Orion in legend is also associated with a hunter who, although he was bragging that he was the slayer of all wild animals, was actually taken out in the end by the mere bite of a scorpion. Now there are hundreds of stars within this huge great big constellation. And there are two kind of super stars, which are called Betelgeuse and Rigel. And they are 430 and 770 light years away respectively. Orion is the place where masculine and feminine consciousness integrate together. But in order for that integration to be successful, both of them have to be experienced in their extreme form. The feminine, being more emotional and spiritual, would very much sacrifice her true purpose for the betterment of the whole, whereas the masculine would feel like individuality was the key and that that would dominate. And he would suppress his emotions over time and go more into the mind. So what happened within Orion is that this notion of duality kind of arose where those extreme forms became quite negative and that had a massive impact into the way that society evolved within the Orion constellation. The more advanced societies use technology to be able to control other beings on a mental, emotional, and even spiritual level, which was quite concerning really, because they got to the point where they could actually even control the etheric bodies of the recently deceased, and so that they could have a massive effect on social memory consciousness. Now, over time, this got progressively worse, and a lot of Orions wanted to leave the incarnation cycle of the Orion system and the Orion group. And so they really were desperate to get out of it, but they couldn't because of the amount of control that the Orion Empire had over them. Some found portals of interdimensional travel, which offered a small handful the opportunity to escape from the Orion group. And the emerging evolution on Earth at the time enabled them to enter into the Earth's incarnation cycle, which was really fantastic for them because it gave them the opportunity to be free again. However, buried deep within the depths of their subconscious mind was all of this tragedy and trauma that they had experienced during their time in the Orion group. Okay, so remember that many of the Orions are human, but they're not restricted to this. There is another negative reptoid race as well, which governs six planets within the system. The main one being Bellatrice, which is like their home base. But also they have control over a neighboring civilization called the Greys. Now the Greys live on a planet called Zeta Reticuli and the Orion star seeds have such an important part to play on the evolution on planet Earth. Now, they are here to inspire people, the world, and also to align with the universe. And many of the Orion star seeds have spent other lifetimes, either within the Pleiades or Andromeda or other star systems. So what are the top 10 traits of the Orion star seeds? Well, number one is they are compassionate activists. Now Orion star seeds care about the planet and all living beings on the planet as well. They understand that peace is everybody's birthright and will go above and beyond the call of duty to be able to present this message to the world. Number two is that they are inspiring entrepreneurs. 
Now, Orion starseeds are not motivated at all by monetary gains, but they do spend wisely for the betterment of humanity. So they're real philanthropists, really. Now, they also understand that you know, it's important to be able to be a guide and hold a vision for the new golden age. And they, they kind of inspire and lead um, by that example because they want people to kind of hold the same vision. Number three is that they are logical and task focused. Now, Orion star seeds understand the mind better than most. They're very logical and rational in their way of thinking and they prefer not to delve too deeply into the realms of the emotions as they're not excellent feelers, <laughs> they're thinkers. They, they like to analyze people and try and work out what's going on behind the scenes. Now they're also kind of task focused and they like a strategy and a plan in able to be able to see their goals through to finality and they prefer to complete one job before moving on to the next one. Number four is that they are opinionated and critical. Souls from Orion have very fixed beliefs and like to try and get other people to conform to their way of thinking. They really need to learn the lesson that not everybody is the same as them or thinks the same way as them. And when they're trying to work out other people, they just need to allow for this broader sense of variety that we're actually all very, very different. Some of us are creative and some of us are a little bit more rational. Now, the interesting thing about the Orion star seeds as well is that they also are very, very, you know, kind of judgmental as well, sort of inwardly. They can be quite judgmental towards other people and also towards themselves. So they can actually be hypercritical inwardly, but really, you know, they are judging themselves. Number five is that they are wisdom seeking. Now knowledge is their comfort zone and they really rely on that to give them a sense of confidence. They use it to influence people in conversations and steer them towards their way of thinking, but also to impress them as well. They have a passion for learning and they get very excited about it and it runs quite deeply this for them. So, you know, the more information that an Orion can take into their brain waves, the more inspiring and the more their confidence rises out into the world. Number six is that they can experience relationship challenges. Now, because their logical mind dominates and they find it difficult really tapping into the depths of their emotions, this can cause misunderstandings or conflict within their relationships because their partners can often feel quite misunderstood. Now, it's, it's not that they don't want to understand their emotions because they do, but they're so caught up in their old patterns of logical thinking that they just can't find their way to experience those, which is usually quite frustrating for them, but they also understand that deep emotions can also create very unpredictable behaviors. And that's something that they are a little bit dubious to be around. Number seven is that they are independent and sensitive. Now, because of this sensitivity, they need plenty of time by themselves so they can relax, rejuvenate and recharge their batteries as well. They prefer not to be in large groups of people or socialize regularly and they're quite happy just having plenty of me time. Number eight is that they are humorous and funny. Now Orion's starseeds have a keen sense of humor, so they're not always caught up in their minds. Making a crowd laugh is a real skill for them and they are really good at being able to kind of bring light into dark situations and look at the idiosyncrasies of life and break them down into really interesting, quippy, quirky remarks that will bring the belliest of laughs to the most square people. And finally, number nine is that they have vivid blue eyes. So the Orion star seeds are renowned for their almost iridescent sparkly blue eyes that are really quite hypnotic. Now it's said that the spiritual emergence of the priests 
actually gained this feature as they became more spiritually enlightened. But don't be fooled. The Orion star seeds can also have olivey skin and they can have dark hair as well. So there are lots of different variations. So what about you? Do you feel like you and an Orion star seed? Is, is that your soul origin? Why don't you leave a few comments below just to let me know if you think that you've come from the Orion group. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.